What's going on YouTube? My name's Eric Young and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to do ray trace shadows and reflections like this one. And like this one. So let's get started. So this is going to be more of an overview tutorial rather than a how-to tutorial. Um, I have previous tutorials that teach you how to animate objects moving forward. I'll leave links in the description, same for the BB-8. To move the wheels, to animate the wheels, you just go into element 3D settings and then you save the chassis. So here's the chassis, and I put that on auxiliary channel 3, and I put these on 1 and 2, and then using the auxiliary animations, you can rotate the tires. So moving forward from there, that's how you rotate the tires. This was the basic animation. The headlights were actually painstakingly just tracked one by one, and they weren't even tracked fully properly. And uh, moving on from there, how I made this shadow. First, I'll turn off that one. This was actually just a solid layer. Delete these. That was actually just a solid that I mapped out and then added transparency. So that's how you do that. And then the ray trace shadow, I'll turn back on, was controlled by this parallel light here. So when I move this parallel light, the ray trace shadow moves. So that's how you do that. And to turn on ray tracing, you just go into shadows and select ray trace instead of shadow map. Going on from there, how you do the reflection. Oh, and how you make the shadow too. So, okay, so this layer was the reflections. So I just actually pasted on <laughs> the road to get that sort of reflection there. And then to do this, you simply just do turn on matte. Sorry, I have 4K now, so it's really hard to see. Matte reflections. And then that reflects it nicely. And then for the shadow layer, I did that on a separate one underneath, because, you know, put it above, th that happens. So I did underneath, and of course, you need to animate out this part before you add the shadow. So same thing, you have a plane here, and in the settings here, you just go down and you do matte shadow. And then I'll turn the matte shadow back on, and then that's that. And then for specular lighting, for specular lighting, you just have these two point lights for the headlight. And how I got that glow there was from this tutorial here from Video Copilot. It's tutorial 93, 3D light casting. You can just find it at videocopilot.net. I'll leave a link in the description. And how he does that is he just makes a gridded layer. I think this is it. Yeah. And you go into the material options. Oops. And you can play around with the diffuse and the specularity and stuff like that. But I had it really bright because I did a day for night. So moving on from there, I just added motion blur. So I turned motion blur on the comp, turned motion blur on everything, uh, went into the 3D settings, yep, comp settings. And then I did an extra motion blur layer, which is just pixel motion blur. And then a day for night. And that's how you do that one. And then we'll open the BB-8. And I'll include a link in the description for, yeah, the 3D car. So just like I said before, I have a tutorial of how to animate BB-8 moving in real 3D. You basically just track the camera, select points, and then tell them to move point A to point B. So, and same here. So like how I tracked the sign was I just did this, made a solid, and then I copied pasted the position of the solid to, let's see, where's the sign? No. Oh, here. So you just paste it like that and it stays there magically. Okay, moving on. So how to make ray tracing shadows. Just like the last one, the parallel light, the sun here, is going to manage where his shadow goes. So going back, but there was a little trick I did here because there's this real shadow here he has to go through. So I pulled off a little couple tricks. As you see, he's actually shaded. So what I did was I actually, all right, here's the shadow. Okay, so basically what I did was I just made a mask. You know, it's just a 3D or yeah, 3D, uh, what do you call it? Solid, black with the opacity. And then I mapped it out and then I feathered it. So that when he goes through, he actually gets a real world reflection on him. But the other problem was getting rid of this shadow as he moves through. So let's see, I think I had to do a couple of these. So if I delete these, yeah. So what I did here was I had his shadow 
and then I did a track solid. <laughs> so if I delete this mask, it's a giant black solid going all the way back. And then I did alpha matte, so that when I turn this one off, see that? See it? See it? See it? See how it like fades right there? Yeah, I'm sure you see it. Okay, and then I duplicated this because that looked kind of odd. So I just went duplicate, 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 duplicate. All right, there we go. So now as he moves through the shadow, I wonder if we can get away with draft. Yeah, we can get away with draft. Okay, so now as he moves through the shadow, it should disappear because I did the matte alpha, invisible black layer. So there you go, you see as he moves through the shadow, it disappears. All right, so moving on from there, the last thing is, set this back to preview, you can just add point lights anywhere. So right here, I added two point lights. So let's do the sign red and sign blue. And then notice that these will cast some lights on him. And then when he rolls up to the lightsaber at the end, there we go. I tracked this in, I know it didn't track right, whatever. And then you just turn on the uh, light. And so how you get these in position is you just go to your element 3D and you go into utilities, select a position. So say I wanna move this light on the edge of the lightsaber instead. Say project, cause it always might crash. Generate 3D null. Take the position of that. Copy it. Take the position of the light. Paste it. Well now I've created a keyframe, but whatever. And it will move it. And it's as simple as that. So, sorry this wasn't a real tutorial, guys. I mean, um, I did the best I could with the time I have. Sorry I've been gone, but I will be getting a 2080 RTX and after September 20th, and I will be doing a video on that. And after I get this edited, you probably won't see any videos till I get that graphics card. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate appreciate all of you that have been watching. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more future videos.